Remember this. I'm the one you should have concerns about. I like Lifeline a lot. <laughs> Who doesn't like Lifeline? Who doesn't like Lifeline? Uh, she's so spunky. <laughs> The drone, the drone yeah. came on by and, you know, drumming what, if, the, on, on what the, if she's drumming on the drone and the drone's like her friend? And I'm like, I, I love this. You know, Lifeline having that thing to emote with just made it so much easier to kind of find the personality on yeah. the mocap stage. Yeah. A lot of times we have an idea when we go onto the mocap stage and sometimes those ideas like come through 100%. Other times yeah. we find the character on the mocap stage. Yeah. The moment I remember very specifically in Lifeline's development was actually pretty late when the facial animations came in because I feel like Lifeline is particularly expressive. And the one that I think of specifically is the legendary where she spins the healing syringe like a pistol and then catches it. And there's this sort of look of joy where she's like almost surprised. <laughs> it's it, funny you mentioned that because yeah. so all of our characters, we model them with a very blank expression, mm -hmm. right? Was, yeah. So for somebody like Caustic, it works, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like you don't like you don't really don't need a lot of facial animation to yeah. see the evil. But in a character like Lifeline, who's like voice is so like fun and like having attitude, that dead having face, that dead face it's it's just, really you're like what's going yeah, on? Yeah, like, like it's hard. And like I remember like the first time like. Uh, you know, Lifeline's face was animated. Yeah. Like, I, f I fell in love with her. I yeah, was like, yeah, she's yeah. so adorable. You don't see the whole thing come together until, until the some, very until end. Until something yeah. like those, for me at least, the, the, specifically those facial animations. Came. And even like for a character that's that's so lighthearted, stuff like that, some of the executions are actually pretty dark. Yeah. But, but <laughs> the, the, my favorite one is still the Doc Shock one with, where she pulls the cable off the drone and shocks the person. <laughs> the look on her face when she turns and looks at the drone. And she's, she's like, like, do she, it. She's like, yeah, just do it. And it's so, it's so mischievous. It's so, it's amazing. Core mechanical set was to really sort of make a, a combat medic, like That's someone who would feel comfortable running out to help teammates under fire. Like we don't just want a healing character; we want a character that feels like uh, they're putting they're putting themselves at risk to help their team. One of the big things we were trying to figure out with Lifeline, from a, a general gameplay balance standpoint, for a long time was. Uh, in a game where your goal is not to die, how do we make sure that a character who is really good at making you not die, like doesn't become the meta? Where things like damage interrupts and stuff like that that make it so that uh, you can't use you can't use the drone to heal through damage if you're directly under fire and that sort of thing. And so we had this. There's an interesting duality of the character of some of the abilities you need to use in cover and all that stuff, but others, um, you know, like the, the, the rest, you're supposed to use just right in the middle of combat right. when there are bullets flying and all this stuff. Probably on the same level as Wraith, I would say, there's not many more characters that you need to worry about more than losing track of where a lifeline went. Because as soon as you lose track of the lifeline, that means she's going to come back with like 10 billion health <laughs> and like a bunch of, you know, she's going to be like, she's, she's going to be good. At, fight, you're going to be like finishing, like trying to finish her friends and you're going to be run ragged and she's going to come back like, I've dusted myself off and I'm ready to fight again. And you're just like, oh no, <laughs> I'm tired and, and I want to go home. And she's like, oh, you're going home <laughs> in, a <body> bag. <laughs> in a body bag. Exactly.